When working with database relationships in a Laravel application, it's common to encounter this error uh, referring to a foreign key constraint failure. This occurs when you attempt to delete rows in a database table that are connected to some other table within your database. For example, the way I triggered this error is within a demo application I have called Bookmark. It's a cataloging application for books. Each book is associated with an author. You can add books to a favorite list, that sort of thing. And you could see that the error we were just looking at was coming from this step where we were confirming the deletion of one of our authors. Uh, and the problem is if we go to our authors page and look at the output here, this was the author we were attempting to delete, you could see that they have a book connected to them. All right, so the database system is not allowing us to delete our author row because that author row is tied to rows within our books table. To see this from the database perspective, let me switch over to my code base. I'm currently looking at my migration file for my books table. And at the very end of the migration is where I establish the relationship to authors. So I create an author ID field and then I assign it as a foreign key that references our author's table. And then of course, because we're working with Eloquent within my author model, uh, I make it aware of this relationship by defining a books method uh, and returning a has many relationship to the book model. All right, so that's from Eloquent's perspective. What we're looking at here in the migration is really about the setup of the database table itself. And this is where that foreign key error is coming from. We're basically breaking uh, this relationship expectation we have here where if we have a book that's connected to an author and we delete that author, we are upsetting this author ID field here because it's referencing something that no longer exists. So let's talk about different ways to address this. The first thing we could do is before we delete any authors, we could make sure that no books are associated with that author. We could essentially break the relationship between the two. To see what that would look like, let me bring up my author controller. I'm going to go down to this method called destroy. This is where the deletion of the author is actually happening. And right before that deletion, I'm going to iterate through any of the books associated with that author. And I want to essentially break the connection between those books and this author. And there's two different ways I could write this. I could simply set the author ID of the book in question to be null. And then of course I'd want to persist those changes. So I would invoke the save method. Or the other way I could write this if I wanted to use a convenience eloquent method that's provided for us, I could reference the author relationship and then call the method dissociate. And again, to save those changes. All right, so that's the eloquent way of doing things, but behind the scenes, all it's doing is for the given book, it's setting the author ID to be null. All right, now note that either of these approaches is only possible because if we look back at the design of our books table, I did include the nullable modifier when setting up that author ID field. This basically makes it so that an author is optional when it comes to our book rows. If I didn't have this, um, the code that I'm writing here wouldn't be possible because it is expecting an author to be associated with that book. Uh, but in our case, because it is nullable, this should fix our foreign key uh, error. So let's test that out. Let me bring back my application and we'll go ahead and try to delete Fitzgerald again. And perfect. You can see that it worked that time. And the result, if we go back to our books page, we see the great Gatsby book. It's still in our database. We just don't have an author associated with it. So that got us around the foreign key error uh, and it worked fine in this application. Uh, especially because I designed it such that you can have books that aren't associated with authors. Uh, even little things like the output here, you could see the books that do have authors list the author name beneath the title. Whereas if there's not an author, we just don't see anything there. Uh, when I wrote that, I explicitly put the author output in an if statement so that if there's not an author associated with a book, it's not going to produce an error when it's producing this output. All right, so those are things to keep in mind. Uh, as you're fixing the one foreign key problem, you could potentially be creating other problems if you start disassociating your data. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is there might be situations where you don't just want to disassociate data to allow these deletions. You might want to actually delete the corresponding data. Uh, for example, let's say instead of books and authors, we were dealing with like users and users had posts. If we deleted a user, it might make sense that we would want to delete any of their corresponding posts. And just to see an example of how we would do that, coming back to our code, 
when we comment out our previous code. And what I'm going to do is before deleting the author, I'm going to reference any of the author's books via the books relationship method. And we'll simply just say delete. All right, let me rerun my migrations uh, just to rebuild my C data to test this out with. And then we'll go back to our application. I'm going to go back to my author's page and uh, delete Fitzgerald again. And that was successful. And also if we go over to our all books page, we're no longer seeing The Great Gatsby because that was also deleted as part of that process. Now, the way I handled that where before deleting my authors, I explicitly delete any connected books. This is my preferred way of handling this, but I do wanna show an alternative way, which is when we're defining our table and we're setting up our foreign key, we can chain on a method called cascade on delete. This would make it so that automatically in our database, if we were to delete any authors, that deletion would cascade and delete any of the corresponding books tied to that author. Uh, just to show that this works, let's go back and I'm actually going to comment out uh, that last bit of code I had had. So we're back to the situation where in our destroy method, it's simply going to find the author and delete that author. And what we should see is we should not see a foreign key error because behind the scenes, our database, based on how we set it up, should automatically cascade the deletion to the book as well. So let's test this out. I'm going to rerun my migration so it picks up on this change I'm making to the books table. And then let's go back to the application and let's delete Fitzgerald once again. And we can see that was successful, no foreign key errors. And then if we go to all books, we're no longer seeing the great Gatsby there. So that worked, but to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the cascade approach just because it feels like there's gonna be things happening within my database that I didn't explicitly write code for, right? And I, I know I wrote the code for the cascade itself, but when it comes to thinking about the features and writing the code for the features, I want to see the code that's actually doing the deletion here as part of this step. Otherwise, if I don't, which is essentially how we've set it up now, it could be very easy to forget that, oh, when we delete an author, we're also potentially deleting books based on the design of our database. Um, I much rather see the code there. It's going to be much clearer to myself as well as other collaborator, uh, collaborators that might be working on this code base. Now, regardless of how you're doing the deletion, the other thing to factor in is just the user experience with this. Uh, if they are prompting the deletion of one thing that is going to cascade and delete other things, it's important to let them know that. For example, in this application, I think what we should do, if we go back to the process of deleting an author, I did have this intermediary step where the user is confirming the deletion. I think it would make sense that we could notify them at this point that if they're going to delete this author, it's also going to potentially delete books associated with this author. And to demonstrate this, I set up a view ahead of time we could load. Uh, let me show you what that view looks like. So this is uh, called warn delete. And uh, you can see it's gonna confirm that they wanna delete the author in question, but as part of this output, it's gonna output each of the books associated with that author and just let them know that if you're gonna delete the author, the above books will also be deleted. All right, so let's get this uh, set up. Coming back to our author controller, I'm going to rewind to this delete method. This is the method that is showing that confirmation page. And what I'll do is I'm going to check for the author's books. We've got a count of them. And if that count is greater than zero, then we're going to return our special view uh, that gives them that extra warning. Uh, this view is expecting the books to output them, so we've got to make sure we pass that along. And we'll also need the author information. And with that in place, let's refresh our confirmation page. And perfect, we get more context. We see that not only are we going to be uh, deleting the author in question, but also the corresponding books. And it makes it very clear to the user that that is what will happen before they confirm it. So from a user interface perspective, I definitely think that's a uh, necessary thing to be thinking about when it comes to deleting data. Uh, now, continuing this discussion of addressing this foreign key error and the relationships within our tables, uh, everything I've been showing has been demonstrating in a one-to-many setup where uh, a book can only have one user associated with it. But these same issues can apply to other relationship types, for example, the many-to-many -many relationship. And to demonstrate this within the bookmark application, I have a many-to-many -many relationship set up between my books and users. Uh, the users that are logged in have the ability to add books to like a favorite list. 
uh, just to show this in action, if we go to our list page, you can see for the currently logged in users, they don't have any books on their list. But if we go over to our books, I'm just going to choose one. At the bottom, there's an option to add it to our list. We can add uh, some notes about the book. I'll just put in some uh, filler text here, add it to my list. And then you could see now on my list page, that book was added there. All right, now behind the scenes, the way this is set up, let's take a look at our database migration. I have a table, it's a pivot table called book user. And within this table, you can see I've got two fields, one for the book ID and one for the corresponding user ID. And then we define them as foreign keys, which uh, sets us up for that potential of running into that foreign key uh, error. Because if we say delete a book that is connected to a user, we're going to see the error. Or likewise, if we delete a user connected to a book, we're going to see the error as well. And just to see that in action, let's go back and actually try to delete a book that is currently connected to a user. So I'm going to attempt to delete this Harry Potter book. And first we'll see this confirmation page, but there's no sort of warning about corresponding data being deleted because that was something we had set up for deleting authors, not something I've done with books yet. Uh, if I click yes to delete it, we're faced with our old foreign key error again, uh, just because we can't delete that book because it is currently tied to a user via that book user uh, pivot table. Uh, now to address this, um, one thing to observe is I did not make these fields nullable in this case. So I can't simply just dis disassociate the book with this relationship or disassociate the user with the relationship. I do have to go with the deletion approach. Uh, and the way that I'm going to do that, let's uh, pull up our book controller because that's where the deletion is happening. I'm going to go to the very end. All right, here's our destroy method. Here's where we're deleting the book. And before that deletion, I'm going to add some code that's going to look at the user's relationship to this book. And on that, I'm going to invoke a method called detach. And behind the scenes, all this is going to do is just look for any rows in our book user pivot table, connecting the book in question with any users. And it's going to get rid of that row, effectively deleting that relationship. All right, so that should free us from the foreign key error. Let's make sure that that is the case. So let's uh, try this again. And perfect, it was able to delete the book. And as a consequence of that, if we go over to the list, we should no longer see the book listed there as well. So that addresses the issue from when we're directly deleting the books. But if we rewind, we have to remember that we set it up so that when we're deleting authors, we're also potentially deleting books there. So we could continue to run into the foreign key error problem. Uh, and just to demonstrate that, let me uh, go ahead and add a book to my list, and then I'm going to delete its author. So I'm going to add this Bell Jar book by Sylvia Plath. All right, so you can see it's on my list. Now, if I go to authors and go to delete Sylvia Plath, I can confirm the deletion. It's telling me that it's going to delete the corresponding book, but we're faced with that foreign key error again. Uh, and this time it's because we know that when we delete an author, it's going to potentially delete books. And if those books are on users lists, we've got a problem with that uh, book user pivot table. Uh, so how do we address this? Well, let's go back to our author controller where this deletion is happening. And just a recap of what we have going on here. Of course, we're going to delete the author. Uh, before we did that, though, we had to consider any books connected to that author. The first approach we had looked at was simply just disassociating the author from the books in question. We also talked about deleting the books related to that author. And then finally, the solution we landed on was actually in our migration. When we create the books table, we added the cascade on delete to handle the deletion there. Um, now, I talked about why I didn't like this approach. So actually, I'm going to undo that while we're revisiting our code. And then back in our author controller, uh, we are going to delete the books here. But of course, before we do that, we need to make sure we disconnect those books from any users. So uh, we'll do that with a for each loop. I'm going to go through each of the author's books. And for each book, we're going to target any users attached to that book by referencing our users relationship method. And then to break that relationship, we're going to invoke the eloquent method detach. And what that's going to do behind the scenes is within our book user pivot table, it's going to delete any rows connecting the given book to uh, users that have added that book to their favorite list. So let's test this out going back to our application. We'll once again attempt to delete the author Sylvia Plath. An excellent at work that time, no foreign key error. You can see that Sylvia Plath was removed from our author list. And then if we go back to our list of favorite books, 
we could see that the bell jar was removed from our list as a consequence of deleting that author. So once again, this technically gets us around that foreign key error problem. It's ways to address it. But we always want to be thinking about the user experience at the same time. And I think what we just did would be a little frustrating. Imagine you had a bunch of books on your list and you had written detailed notes about them. And then suddenly they just disappeared because an author was deleted. That wouldn't be ideal. So in the context of this bookmark application, what I think I would probably do is make it so that deleting books and authors is actually only something that an administrator could do. And I would definitely want to have information on the deletion page that lets them know, hey, you're about to delete this author, which is going to delete this book, which is on some of your users lists. Are you sure you want to do it? Um, just so they are aware of the consequences. But all of that is application specific, and it's going to depend on what the goals of your features are. Uh, but when it comes to that foreign key error, I hope the information I have presented in this video has uh, helped you if you were facing that error. And if you are still facing that error and you're unsure how to fix it, feel free to leave a comment below with some details about what's going on and I can try to help you troubleshoot.